Okay, it's that time of the year again. Summer's over. Kids are dreading going back to school and you have to go back to school shopping. So we're going to give you some tips to keep you on budget. Routines really change from the summertime to school time. So I think that is one of the biggest things. I know I struggle with that. Shirley Broback is the host of a local radio show called Real Parenting. She's going to give us a checklist to help you get ready. Getting back to the hectic mornings can be hard, so she says start the routine now. Some of the things that I find really help though is getting the kids involved in um, packing their own lunch the night before, picking out their own clothes, anything to make the morning routine go a little bit smoother. This is the laptop lunch kit, so it, all the different pieces fit perfectly together in there. And Lunches are, of course, a big deal. One of the best things you can do to save money and the environment? Get a lunch kit. For lunches, litterless lunches is the big thing. Um, there are so many different neat little packages um, that you can put together to make it so that you don't, the kids don't have to throw away anything. Number three, the clothing. Shop for things that you can mix and match or go for end of season sales to stock up for next year. If they're little, you can usually get away with using some of the pieces that they have already in their wardrobe that they've been wearing uh, for summertime. And let's not forget the hand-me-downs. I, I always loved getting my older sister's hand-me-downs. They always had the coolest clothes. And finally, the big one, school supplies. One thing Shirley recommends, make sure you check the school list. The other thing to think about is, do you really need everything for the first day of school? Or can maybe you buy a few basic things and then wait for all the school supplies stuff to go on sale? Also check if they've used all the stuff from last year. I think my son had an entire paint set that they, they didn't even use and lots of pencils and some markers. She also adds that talking to your kids before heading out to shop might help you from breaking the bank. But with the amount of sales on right now, you might be able to find some great deals. In Langford, I'm Shetta Singh for The Daily.